MGTV, η ομογένεια κοντά σα. Dr. Mezidis from uh, the Hellenic Medical Society of New York, uh, chairman of the Dr. Papanicolaou event, annual event, this year, uh, May 10th, uh, 2019. Uh, we're having the event again at uh, Weill Cornell Education Center in New York City, and uh, we are honoring uh, the legacy of Dr. George Papanicolaou, the inventor of the PAP test. PAP test that's uh, saving uh, millions uh, of women of uh, cancer. Το ιδανικό μου δεν είναι να πλουτίσω ούτε να ζήσω ευτυχίε, αλλά να εργαστώ, να δράσω, να δημιουργήσω, να κάνω κάτι τι αντάξιον ενό ανθρώπου ηθικού και δυνατού. Uh, we have tonight uh, a very uh, uh, important uh, and a great uh, program. Uh, we will uh, have uh, the uh, awards uh, given to high school students uh, from uh, the Greek American community in New York City. Actually, seven high schools represented and 15 students are receiving the high school essay awards. Uh, we have a medical student at Cornell who is receiving the annual Hellenic Medical Society Scholarship. And uh, as speaker tonight is uh, Dr. Nicholas uh, Papadopoulos from Johns Hopkins uh, University and the Division of uh, Department of Pathology, uh, who will be speaking to us uh, specifically about uh, new uh, ways of diagnosing cancer. Hello, my name is Nick Papadopoulos. I'm a professor of oncology and pathology at Johns Hopkins University at the Oncology Center in Baltimore. Uh, I'm very honored to be the speaker at this uh, event that honors uh, Dr. Papa Nicolaou. He is a visionary in d developing many, many years ago tests to detect cancers early when they are curable. Things have changed throughout these uh, years, from 43 till now, but uh, his vision is continued and we, our main focus in our group is to develop tests that detect cancer early when they are curable. We have expanded actually the pap smear test. We still use the material that Dr. Papa Nicolaou developed. We just have new technologies to make it more sensitive and we have expanded our work and our tests to try to detect as many different cancers as possible. Thank you, Dr. Papadopoulos, uh, for being our speaker tonight. And uh, Dr. Papadopoulos also is uh, the uh, honoree and awardee of the Grand Papa Nicolaou Award that we give every year to a distinguished scientist of Hellenic heritage. Uh, tonight also we will be projecting for the first time in the United States uh, the uh, documentary on Dr. Uh, George uh, Papanicolaou uh, from uh, the Greek television Cosmote uh, with English subtitles. This shows life and achievements of Dr. Papanicolaou that have not been shown before and uh, we're all very happy that uh, this is going to be projected uh, to our community. Also, I want to emphasize that the Hellenic Medical Society of New York, uh, that has been around for more than 80 years, is the largest uh, Greek-American uh, medical society. It uh, is focused on uh, scholarship and um, uh, fraternization with organizations, scientific organizations. Uh, we have the annual scholarship that we give to the student of Hellenic heritage from Cornell, but every December we also give scholarships to medical students of Hellenic heritage from around the United States. Uh, we also sponsor conferences in the United States and in Greece, and uh, we uh, uh, serve uh, patients of uh, Hellenic heritage and doctors from Greece who come to the United States uh, for observerships. Uh, we'd like to also thank the Panevoikos Society in Kimievia, Dr. Papanikolaou was uh, born. And every year, uh, they are co-sponsors of this event. They bring their lavaro that you see here, uh, Dr. Papanikolaou, mm -hmm. our visionary. And uh, we're looking forward uh, to uh, a great evening tonight. And the message is we want uh, more people to get involved in the biological science 
a science of uh, Hellenic heritage, and the Hellenic Medical Society is there for mentorship. Thank you. Um, we are very, very happy to have so many people here tonight. This is a great event. I personally came several times and I attended great presentations. I just want to make sure that everybody here understands that the um, Hellenic Medical Society uh, is all about giving scholarships to people who need them and always uh, based on meritocracy. Meritocracy is an idea that started from ancient Greece and um, it infused in the whole Western Europe and the world. So we try to give to people, medical students and uh, pre-med students, uh, scholarships to help them uh, to grow professionally and we are here to support them throughout the process. We have a young initiative uh, that started a couple of years ago and it's actually blossoming now. Um, many young professionals, we have new candidate groups uh, of pre-medical students and medical students so they can join our society and basically with no participation financially. And we also have a new um, the ability for residents to join, join the society. So all of us, we have to work very hard to have events like this one uh, that makes us very proud. Uh, thank you so much. Please enjoy the presentations. We have collaboration with the Panevoiko Society, and I'd like uh, Mr. Vingos, who's here representing the Panevoiko Society, to come up and uh, give us a short message. Ladies and gentlemen, um, my name is Tony Ringos. I'm representing the Evia Society, my boy Gos, because uh, the president uh, couldn't be here today. The, I'm a former president. Uh, the only thing I have to say, uh, I have done this, the Panavai Corps has done this since uh, 1991. We, uh, we were doing it in Astoria, uh, in New York, in the Hellenic Cultural Center. And uh, the Evia Society uh, continued to honor Dr. Papa Nicolau until 1995. In 1996, the Avia Society of America came in contact with Dr. Anthony Vasilas, who was the former president of the Medical Association of New York, and organized this uh, Dr. Papa Nicolau Symposium here in Cornell. Uh, and um, in 1996, we made the, the banner uh, of Dr. Papa Nicolau, who is from Avia. That's how we are involved with the Avia Society. One thing I wanted to mention, in, um, in Miami, uh, Dr. Mazidis that he mentioned that he did the center there, uh, they are, honored him uh, with the Miami Cancer Institute and they renamed it the uh, Papa Nicolau Research Institute. The Dr. Papa Nicolau Cancer Research Institute. So uh, that was a very big honor. I was invited, uh, I think it was five, six years ago to come. Uh, they were doing a celebration and I couldn't make it to Miami. So uh, that's all I have for me. and. Um, Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And they have a, a big statue there in front of the Cancer Center in Florida. Uh, now we'll have uh, Dr. Diadafilo please come up, and uh, we'll do the uh, awards for the uh, high school students on essays. Yeah, we'll come up now. I have to tell you that in 1960, I was here, not in this auditorium, but as a student uh, from New York University, we came here to listen to Dr. Papa Nicolau giving a lecture. So I had the pleasure and the honor to hear Dr. Papa Nicolau here in 1960. I want to tell you that all of us, the students, the Greek students from Greece at New York University, in the early 60s and late 50s, we had one dream, to get a Nobel Prize in some work about DNA. As you know, the DNA was discovered around nine, uh, two, uh, 1956 by the two famous uh, researchers, Watson and, and Crick. And along with the DNA dream, we discovered Dr. Papa Nicolaou. So instead of one dream, about DNA, now we added another dream to do something like Dr. Papa Nicolau. And um, I want to say, Dr. Mazit, is that for me, Dr. Papa Nicolau is the greatest intellectual 
inspiration for every youngster all over the world. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you believe or what the color of your skin is. Dr. Papa Nicolaou is a unique mind. And I wish all the churches, all the communities, all the Greek schools had a statue of Dr. Papa Nicolaou at the entrance of the church, at the entrance of the schools, somewhere in every community. This is what Papa Nicolaou deserves. Not only the statue downstairs, of course he is very famous, but what are we doing as a Greek American community? What are the, where are the statues? In the churches, in the schools, in the communities. So, and we send electronically all the essays and they are graded and we collect the grades and we figure out who is going to be uh, a winner or not. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we the first, oh, not the first, it's alphabetically, you can use this green program that we have, the list. The, uh, alphabetically, Postinis Giorgio, Francis Lewis High School, received the Panevoy course, Society Scholarship. Please come forward. This is the beautiful certificate, as you can see, it has on one side Dr. Papa Nicolaou, and on the other side we put the statue of Prometheus that you see at Rockefeller Plaza. Yes. When you go to Rockefeller, the name of the teachers' association is Prometheus. Prometheus is it's a giant intellect. How many people know what Prometheus did for human for the human for the human race? Exactly what Papa Nicolaou did. He saved humanity with a with a fire. And Papa Nicolau saved women with a pop test. So we, we have both statues there, and this is from the Prometheus. And in bilingual, congratulations. And um, Panavoy Portuguese. Uh, we have uh, the representative. From Ecumet on right? Okay, Okay, Constantinis Daphne from San Dimitrios Afternoon School, Astoria. She received Gregorita Sadiani Scholarship. This is your. Pouloris uh, Philippos, Francis Louis High School. And Philippos is receiving uh, my, in memory of my wife's Barbara Triandafilou a scholarship. I want to tell you that my wife Barbara has left an, a good amount of money for the support of the Greek uh, education system. And as you can see, that's why she receives, she receives her, name, uh, her name in different um, activities. Uh, uh, we have Kritikos Dimitrios, San Dimitrios High School, Astoria, and we have Arto Kosmas, Arto Ortho Kosmas Scholarship. In the Ortho Kosmas at all? Ortho Kosmas? Dimitrios? Ortho Kosmas, Kritikos, turn around, please. Congratulations, criteria. Ortho Kosmas Scholarship. Ortho Kosmas is not here yet. Okay. Olga Lakusaki is from the Bronx High School of Science, a future scientist, I guess. Congratulations. Parasqueva Zoe, Zoe Parasqueva, Francis, Francis Zoe High School. Parasqueva, Dr. John Nathanas, he's not here yet, but I have the check here, and I have this, Sorry. okay, congratulations. Uh, Rabu Yanis, Fort Lee High School. Rabu Yanis, Fort Lee High School. And of course, his Greek school, the ninth grade, is the uh, Ascension Greek School in Fairview. Uh, Yanis, congratulations. And uh, uh, the criteria, doctor, the scholarship is Dr. Saitas Vasiliki. Bravo. Thank you. Uh, 
Ariadne Raftis, Sandy And uh, Anastasia, this is your, from Prometheus, your actual diploma. And this is your receiving in memory of my wife and a scholarship. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Sam, Sam Blancos, Stamatia. Stamatia, Sam Blancos, San Dimitrios, Saturday School, Astoria. Congratulations, Mr. Arterio. Paolo Sardani, Wayne Foster, Society Scholarship. And um, our last one is Anastasia Tsopelas. It Tsopela. And Anastasia is from the Afternoon School of San Dimitrios, and she is going to receive the scholarship from Dr. Stella Limberis. Scholarship. Thank you. Make a point to say, well, what is the 10 year survival? What is the overall survival? And this is a, it is a tough question, a, a tough um, way to answer because really there aren't that many good sites. I'm sure for some of them will be lead time survival. But the other thing that has happened is with cervical cancer, when the pap test detects it, that's not the lead time survival. With colonoscopy, when you get the polypa, this is not lead time survival. The same thing now with mammography in, in a lot of times. So my answer is, well, do we have to prove this for every single tumor type? And I, my answer is, my bias is no. I mean, we have learned. Let's hear to the history and, and try to develop better tests. Is this going to be the better? I don't know. I mean, I'm trying. Every, other people are trying. And as you said, many people now try because they understand the impact. And also, I think I, I try to make a point. It's not, as, as Dr. Nicolau said in 43, 1943, that's why I think it's visionary. It's earlier is better, even with lead time bias, because we have drugs now that they may actually change the lead bias to ha really a, a, a real survival. So. Dr. Papadopoulos here presented the application of a vision. Congratulations again. Thank now, you. we would like to present Dr. Papadopoulos with the Grand Papa Nicolau, Dr. Papa Nicolau Award 2019. And I would like uh, all the executive board members of the Hellenic Medical Society, past and present, past presidents of the Hellenic Medical Society, to come up, please. And the Panagoikos representation here, Dr. Tretafilu, our general counsel, and Dr. Kapura representing the university. Please all come up and present the award. Now we're going to present uh, the George Papa Nicolau, Those Who Dared uh, TV documentary. And uh, I have this written up. Uh, this is the granddaughter of uh, Dr. Papa Nicolau, who is uh, Mrs. Kokori from Greece, who has worked hard in putting this together. And uh, you will see about, it's a 50 minute documentary with uh, English subtitles of the life and achievements of Dr. Papa Nicolau.
θέλω να πολεμήσω εμπρός στην πρώτη γραμμή και ή να πέσω τίμια ή να φέρω εκ των πρώτων τη σημεία της πρόοδου εις τον δρόμο του μέλλοντος. Ο Ευρωπαίος αποτελεί πραγματικά παράδειγμα προς μιλήση όχι μόνο για τους νέους επιστήμονες, τους νέους γιατρούς αλλά και για όλους τους ανθρώπους. Είδαμε άνθρωπος πολύ ξεχωριστός. Γιώργος και Μάχη Παπανικολάου. Ένα ζευγάρι που θυσίασε ό,τι η κοινωνία θεωρούσε πρέπον και κανονικό για να αφιερωθεί στην έρευνα. Ένας δρυξικέλευθος επιστήμονας, ένας γιατρός. Ένας άνθρωπος που προσέφερε στην ανθρωπότητα μία απλή, οικονομική και χωρίς πόνο προληπτική εξέταση που ανακαλύπτει τον καρκίνο όταν είναι ακόμα η άσυνος. Οι εκατομμύρια ζωέ που έσωσε και συνεχίζει να σώζει είναι η κληρονομιά του και ο πλούτος του. He, uh did everything that was necessary uh, to make his research successful. He had to dare. Nobody who uh, doesn't have the courage to dare and to believe in what they're doing would succeed. Το ιδανικό μου δεν είναι να πλουτίσω ούτε να ζήσω ευτυχής, αλλά να εργαστώ, να δράσω, να δημιουργήσω. Να κάνω κάτι τι αντάξιον ενός ανθρώπου ηθικού και δυνατού. A great movie, don't you all agree? Yeah, very inspirational. Thank you all for staying. And thank you, Dr. Kapuro, for your commentary here. We really enjoyed it. Point of information. In 1983, we invite here Mrs. Eleni Kazantzakis for the 100 years from the genesis of Kazantzakis. Fairly to Nefesi, not the Homo Sanakalipsa, who is in the Ethical Method of Mavriti, the brother of Mr. Diaz. Ότι πέντε μεγάλοι Έλληνε γεννηθήκαν την ίδια χρονιά του 1983. Ο Χαζαντζάκη, ο Σιτσελιανό, ο Παπα-Νικολάου, ο Σεφέρη και ο Καλομήρη που έφτιαξε το εθνικό μα μουσείο του Εθνικού μα Είναι νομίζω σημαντικό και έπρεπε να σα το πω. Uh, just a little tidbit, uh, when I was the president of the Panagorico Society a number of years ago, I was given a tour from, by the Kimi mayor of his uh, residence there. And it, was, uh, it was a big honor to uh, have the mayor show me his, where he lived and this and that. just wanted a little tidbit. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you again next year. Yes, we are all prepared for the epistemological knowledge that we left as a knowledge of a doctor, a doctor, a doctor, a doctor, a great Papa Nicolaou. Thank you very much to Mr. Michal Yacumelo and his company, MGTV, for this historical contribution that he does to the Hellenism and the homogeneity of the Americas. MGTV USA, οι δραστηριότητες της ελληνοαμερικανικής κοινότητας με βίντεο και πλήρες ρεπορτάζ. Επισκεφτείτε την ιστοσελίδα μας, mgtvusa.com. Καλύπτουμε καθημερινά τα γεγονότα στην Ομογένεια.